Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to this YouTube channel and this specific episode because today we are coming from our Tamarindo office and we're going to do something a little fun and a little different. Today I'm going to share with you, in my opinion, the top 10 best restaurants in Tamarindo. My name is Sarah Brightlander and my husband and I are the owners of Crane Real Estate. And for those of you who watch this channel, you know we're all about real estate, right? We're all about property management. We've grown to help our clients. So we also assist in tax filing services for our clients. We assist in rehab projects for our clients. Why? Because we're more, so much more than just a real estate company. We consider ourselves to be, at this point, relocation experts. We take so much satisfaction for helping our clients either move down here or purchase second or third homes here. And part of that, is helping our clients assimilate, right? Assimilate into the culture, into the social scene. And so much of that is wrapped up in where to dine, where to go out. And so other than real estate or property management questions, the questions I get asked most often is, Sarah, where can I dine in Tamarindo? Okay, we are ready to talk about the top 10 best restaurants in Tamarindo. Couple of things before we begin. Number one, there are no shortage of amazing restaurants in Tamarindo, okay? Number two, these are just my favorite restaurants. Me and my family's favorite restaurants. It's not the Bible of restaurants. There are other amazing restaurants, um, but I get asked a lot, so I'm gonna share this with you. I hope it helps in some small way. If you have a favorite restaurant that's not on my list of top 10, please put it in the comments below. I love sharing this information and I hope it's useful to someone. Okay. Uh, oh, another thing I wanted to add. These are in no particular order. I had a hard enough time choosing 10 restaurants, much less putting them into order. Okay. So no particular order. Here we go. Okay. Number one, Pangas restaurant. The three things I love about Pangas restaurants, uh, the food, of course, the location and the vibe. So it's located right on the sands of North Tamarindo beach. So right as you're driving into Tamarindo right there on the right, not only is it a beachfront setting, but it's also, it's on the beach and then it's right next to the freshwater estuary. So you're surrounded by water on two of four sides. Really, really cool. As for the environment or the, the ambiance, they're, they're big old trees and they hang these lights uh, from them. So it's just a really amazing setting. They're open for lunch and for dinner. And of course the food, it is, it is really gourmet food. Fresh seafood caught literally right by the fishermen off the beach there so you just can't get a real really a better beachfront dining experience than pangas number two bamboo sushi club do you like sushi then head over to bamboo sushi club immediately it literally has the freshest sushi i've ever had as in the history of my life all over the world this place bamboo sushi club has the best sushi obviously everything's fresh we're right off the water here. It has a really fun tropical vibe. It's perfect for date night. They're also open for lunch. Uh, centrally located, so it's really easy to get to. Can't say enough cool things about Bamboo Sushi. They also have a very large menu. So there's things other than sushi. If you would just like prefer like fresh seafood, that's on the menu too. In the interest of full disclosure, I like bamboo sushi so much that for the first two years, you know how you go somewhere and you like it so much you just keep going back? The first two years that we lived here and went out to eat in Tamarindo, the only place we ate at was bamboo sushi. And then I was like, maybe we could, should consider restaurants other than bamboo sushi. So anyway, that's how much I love it. Gotta hit, gotta hit that place if you're in Tamarindo. Number three, Pico, Pico Bistro. I really like this place for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, it's located on the beach, so the ambiance is great, and it's located actually at a surf point. So people watching is amazing. Uh, people come there to see and be seen. So lots of entertainment going on. There's live music on many nights. They also have an indoor area that's under a sea, so if you feel like you need to cool off, you can sit there, but I prefer outside because you're on the beach and you have these fresh ocean breezes coming in. The second reason I really like Pico is the food. They have these, it's all fresh, really healthy, nothing is processed. They have these, these dishes called Buddha bowls with these just amazing flavors, raw, fresh food. You can add a protein. You can eat and have a delicious meal and not feel guilty about it because it is so, so healthy. And just, you know, if you go somewhere for lunch and you, and you leave and you're like, 
oh my God, like I'm so full, you know, I overate, I'm, I'm, I'm tired, it's hot, I need a nap, you know. When I leave this place, I feel full. Uh, the portions are small, okay? So if you need big portions or you like big portions, this probably isn't your place. But when I leave there, I feel full, I feel satisfied, but I also feel just full of energy, you know, because you can tell all of the nutrition that's going into your body. And that's just really such a cool feeling. It's the power of food, right? So that is why I highly recommend Pico Bistro. Number four, Mercadito. Do you have a large group? Do you have people who can't agree on where to go or what to eat? then round them all up and take them to El Mercadito. I love this place. El Mercadito means little market in Spanish, and so and that's kind of what it is. So it's centrally located, it's right behind Bamboo Sushi. There is something for everyone. Everyone will be happy. Gracias a Dios, thanks God. And you, so you go there and it's like, you sit in the middle, there's seating in the middle, and you're surrounded by kiosks of all of these restaurants. And they have everything. They have sushi, they have Italian, they have amazing traditional Costa Rican food. They have Chinese, they have seafood, they have crepes and waffles, they have hamburgers. They, they have arepas, which is this traditional Venice, uh, food that originated from Venezuela that's naturally gluten-free. So if you have people with dietary restrictions, this is another great place because everyone just chooses what they want, pays, and then you bring it back to the central location. They even have ice cream and chocolates for dessert. And then in the middle, there's this huge sailboat that has been repurposed into a bar that serves cocktails, beer, and wine. So there is truly something for everyone at El Mercadito. Number five, green papaya. I don't even know how to really describe green papaya, but I will try. I mean, they, they coin themselves as, as, a, as a taco, burrito, enchilada bar, okay? So it's, it's, it's Mexican, but they have these Middle Eastern flavors that they add, which makes it just such a unique taste. I, I really don't know of any other place like it. So it's really, uh, really cutting edge, really authentic, and we just love it. It's cash only, so remember that before you go. Also, you have to like spice because almost every dish is spicy, which, which we love. But if you don't like spice, it might not be right for you. Uh, and they actually have a homemade um, hot sauce that they bring out to the table. It's complimentary with the meals. And it's too hot for me, but my husband loves it. Actually, sometimes it's a little embarrassing because he will ask at the end of every meal to pay extra to bring a little bit of the sauce home with him. But it is delicious. They could bottle this and sell it, and that alone would be a success. So I just love this restaurant. Plus, it's, it's just cute. They have this, they have indoor out AC, but they have this outdoor area with swings, so the kids love it. Great photo ops, quite honestly, if you're on vacation. So that's fun. They also have a cat, like a resident cat, who just hangs out at the restaurant and basically is wherever he chooses to be. So he, you could see him out on the patio. You, you might find him in the bathroom. You might walk in the bathroom and be like, oh, there's a, there's a cat. <laughs> um, I've even seen this cat up on the bar stool, just sitting with everyone. He wasn't even like laying down. He was like literally sitting up on the bar stool, like, hey, how's, how's everybody doing? I'm, I'm a cat, you know? So it's pretty funny. I've seen tourists taking pictures of this cat. So you have to go to Green Papaya and I have to say something. This is actually my favorite restaurant. Like if I had to pick one food to eat the rest of my life or one restaurant to go to for a year, it would be green papaya. So please check it out. It's just a great place. Number six, Walk and Roll, owned and operated by the beautiful and talented Candace, um, has an amazingly eclectic menu. The menu is constantly changing depending on what's in season, what the flavors are. So I don't want to get into any specific dish because it is changing, which I love. I love the variety. But I will tell you, they focus on fresh food, they focus on amazing flavors, and you have a full sushi menu, but then they have Korean, they have Thai food. So it's a really wide range of Asian food that's available at this one restaurant. The ambiance is super cool. It's just a fun place to hang out. Plus the location is great because literally you can have dinner there in the evening and walk to all of the, the, the bars and nightlife to go dancing right there in Tamarindo. So walk and roll, definitely check that out. Number seven, Little Lucha. This place is really cool. Hit this place for lunch. They have, they claim to have the best tacos in town and I can't argue with them. The locals love the Taco Tuesday and they have spicy margaritas and it's just a really fun, casual environment. So definitely check out Little Lucha.
Number eight, Seasons Restaurant. So Seasons is, is kind of like a Mediterranean fusion, I guess would be the best way to describe it. High quality food, it's off the beaten path, it's a very intimate setting. They do have a pool there, which is nice and relaxing and, and a godsend if you have kids, right? It keeps them occupied while you can have a nice dinner. So it's just really upscale food and I highly recommend Seasons Restaurant. Number nine, Patagonia, which as the name suggests, is a Patagonian restaurant. So it focuses on these high quality cuts of, of meat and beef, right? The steak's amazing. They have a great chimichurri sauce. And you know, it's, it's obviously heavier food, right? But super, super satisfying, really large plates. And then they, they pair uh, these dishes with these really exquisite Argentinian and South American wines. So it's a really nice experience. Also centrally located because it's in between Bamboo Sushi and El Mercadito. So, don't miss Patagonia. And finally, number 10, Nauta. This restaurant is located in the Wyndham Hotel, so it sits kind of above Tamarindo, which of course lends itself to amazing ocean views, and just really nice breakfast, lunch, and dinner because it's in the hotel. They have really fresh salads, they have poke bowls, uh, they have sushi, and of course, you know, all kinds of, of meat dishes. So, just a large variety there, and it's really nice to see those ocean views and catch those breezes. Okay, that's it. These are my personal favorite restaurants in Tamarindo. Don't send me hate mail if your favorite restaurant was not on this list. Instead, put it in the comments because like I said, there's just no shortage of restaurants down here. We, we are completely, utterly spoiled, but I hope this helps in some small way when you're going out to give you some direction on at least what I like to eat. All right, ciao for now. Thanks so much.